Mga ka-forever, magandang morning. Biyernes na naman ngayon, July 8. Salamat sa inyong pagsuporta at pananood sa amin online. Kapit lang at tuloy-tuloy lang sa pagtutok. Samahan niyo ulit kami ngayon as we guide you to plan your day based on our weather news updates. Plus, may bit-bit pa kami mga news on science and technology. Kenod lang mga ka-forever. We are DOS TV, the Filipino weather channel. Your new West and the Philippines' newest and most comprehensive real-time authority on the latest weather updates. Ako po si Jal Miranda, ang inyong ka-forever, tag-ulan man o tag-uraw. May bagong beast na ang Pinoy iconic vehicle na tricycle. Paano ito nangyari? Alamin niyan mamaya sa ating live interview. Plus, hugot kung hugot ang mga ka-forever natin sa What's the Weather with You. Sa mga hugotero at hugotero friends natin, i na ang mga hugot ninyo. We are DOS TV, the Filipino Weather Channel. Reporting live from the Pag-asa Weather and Flood Forecasting Center, Mondays to Fridays at 11 to 12 in the afternoon. Ang DOS TV ay mapapanood ninyo. Mondays to Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12 noon, dito lang sa www.dostv.ph at live na rin po tayo sa Facebook, facebook.com slash dostvph. Kaya makisabay na rin sa live streaming namin. I'm sure marami na kayong plans for the weekend, kaya alam na natin ang magiging lagay ng panahon. Hello, Miss Lauridian de la Cruz. Magiging maulan ba mamaya o may chance na umaro naman? Magandang umaga din po sa iyo, Ms. Jell, at sa viewers ng DOS-TV. Update po muna tayo kay Typhoon Butchoy. Ito po ay nag-landfall kanina sa timog silang bahagi ng Taiwan. Taglay pa rin po nito ang hanging umaabot sa 195 km per hour malapit sa gitna at gustiness o pabugso-bugso ng hanging umaabot sa 230 km per hour. Ito po ay tinatayang kikilos sa direksyong west-northwest na may bilis na 15 km per hour. Bukas po ng umaga, inaasahang ang, mat ang mata ng Bagyong Butchoy ay nasa layo na ng 455 kilometers northwest of Itbayat, Batanes o outside the Philippine area of responsibility. At uh, Sunday morning po, inaasahang ito ay nasa layo na ng 685 kilometers northwest of Itbayat, Batanes at outside the Philippine area of responsibility pa rin. At, ito po, at by Monday morning o sa lunes ng umaga, ito inaasahang nasa layo na ng 895 kilometers north-northwest of it Bayat, Batanes. Ang Tropical Cyclone Warning Signal number 2 ay nakataas pa rin po sa Batanes Group of Islands. Kaya inaasahan pa rin natin ang masungit na panahon doon na may, ma uh, na may maalon hanggang sa, hanggang sa napakaalong karagatan. Samantala, ang Tropical Cyclone Warning Signal number 1 naman ay nakataas pa rin sa uh, Babuyan Group of Islands at asahan pa rin po natin ang mga pagulan na may pagbugso ng hangin doon. Samantala, pagulan naman na dulot ng habagat, ang mararanasan sa mga lalawigan ng Cavite, Batangas, Sambales, Bataan at Mindoro habang paminsan-minsan mga pagulan naman ang iiral sa Metro Manila, Kabisayaan at sa natitirang bahagi pa ng Luzon. Sa Mindanao naman po ay magiging bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap po ang papawirin sa araw na ito. Kaya kung makikita nyo po sa ating Himawa, latest Himawari image, halos maulap na po talaga itong Luzon at ang Visayas natin area. Ang gale warning po natin ay nakataas pa rin sa silangan at sa hilagang bahagi ng northern Luzon. Samantalang uh, dito naman po sa southern Luzon, sa mga baybay ng southern Luzon, ay nakataas pa rin ang gale warning natin sa silangan at kanlurang bahagi. Kaya't hindi po muna inaalaw ng Philippine Coast Guard na pumalaot ang ating mga kababayang mga ingis na doon, lalo na po doon sa mga, naka, lalong lalo na po doon sa nakataas ang ating uh, tropical cyclone warning signal. Sa natitirang bahagi naman po ng ating uh, mga baybayang dagat ay inaalaw pa rin naman po ng Philippine Coast Guard na pamalaot ang ating mga kababayang mga ingista. Punta naman po tayo sa agwat ng magiging agwat ng temperatura sa araw na ito. Sa Metro Manila ay naasahang mula sa 25 hanggang sa 30 degrees Celsius po. Samantalang sa Subic naman ay mula sa 25 hanggang sa 29 degrees Celsius. Sa Puerto Princesa ay mula sa 25 hanggang sa 32, 32 degrees Celsius. Sa Mactan ay 25 hanggang 32 degrees Celsius. Sa Davao naman ay mula sa 26 hanggang sa 32 degrees Celsius. Habang sa Zamboanga ay mula sa 25 hanggang sa 34 degrees Celsius. Yan ho muna ang latest mula dito sa Pag-asa. Ito po si Lori Din de la Cruz. Magandang umaga.
course, andito si Ms. Richard Orendain for the Dam Water Level Report na dito nyo lang mapapanood sa DOS-TV. Maraming salamat, Jel, at uh, magandang umaga sa iyo at sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Uh, dam update po tayo uh, doon sa minomonitor nating uh, dams dito sa Luzon. Umpisan po natin dito sa Angat Dam. Sa kasalukuyan, ang elevation niya is 179.35. Bagamat uh, may mga pag-ulan nga na naranasan kahapon at uh, kaninang madaling araw hanggang ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung mga pag-ulan, yung ulan within the watershed area ng Angat Dam, hindi pa po siya bumababa doon sa reservoir. Kaya po bumaba pa rin siya. At uh, ito ay bumaba ng 6 cm base doon sa obserbasyon namin kahapon ng alas 6 hanggang ngayon. So, ang epekto po nung ulan na yon kahapon hanggang sa ngayon, bukas pa natin ma makikita. Bukas pa magre-react yun base doon sa elevation ng Angat Dam. And then dito naman po sa Magat Dam, sa kasalukuyan 173.13 meters ang uh, elevation niya. Bumaba pa rin siya ng uh, 28 centimeter. And then dito naman sa Pantabangan, ang current elevation niya is 185.64 Medyo tumas po ito ng konti. Uh, 8 cm po ang itinas ito. Base dun sa observation namin kaninang alas 6 ng umaga. And then sa San Roque Dam po, uh, wala pong pagbabago. Uh, 229.63 po ang uh, current elevation niya. And then, sa ngayon po, uh, we're closely monitoring. Ito pong Ipo Dam, La Mesa, and Bustos Dam dahil po may yellow warning po tayo within Metro Manila area, including uh, Bulacan. So, may tendency po ito na itong Ipo Dam, uh, location niya is downstream ng uh, Angat Dam, na baka po ito mapuno. At ang current elevation niya, kaninang alas 8 nga ng umaga, uh, 100.52. And then ang spilling level niya is 101. So, napakalapit na po nito. And then patuloy pa rin yung mga pag-ulan within the watershed ng Ipo Dam. So, yun nga, pinangangambahan natin na baka mapuno ito at mag-spill. And then, sa kasunod po naman yan ay ang Bustos Dam. Downstream po yan ng Ipo Dam. Ganon din po. Ang uh, current elevation niya ay 17.33. Kanina nga, alas 8. And then, medyo apaw po siya ng 2 cm. So, medyo sumobra po siya doon sa elevation niya. And then, kaya po ito umapaw ng konti dahil uh, naka-deflate ng konti yung uh, rubber, uh, rubber gate niya. Gawa nga po na medyo may kalumaan na ito. And then yung Lamesa Dam, ganun din po. Uh, nasa Quezon City lang po yung Lamesa Dam. So we are closely monitoring din dito po sa Lamesa Dam. And then meron po tayong uh, inisyo na General Flood Advisory. Dito po sa Luzon, ito yung mga lugar sa Region 1, Ilocos Region. Ito po yung Ilocos Sur, Pangasinan, La Union, and Ilocos Norte. Sa Region 3 po, sa Central Luzon, ito po yung mga lugar, Bataan, Sambales, and Bulacan. Sa Region 5, Bicol Region po ito, uh, Camarines Norte, Catanduanes, Camarines Sur, Masbate, Sorsogon, and Albay. Sa Region 4B, Mimaropa. Ito po yung mga lugar, Occidental Mindoro, Palawan, Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, and Romblon. And then sa Region 4A, Calabarzon. Ito po yung mga lugar, Cavite, Laguna, Quezon, Batangas, and Rizal. And then sa Cordillera Administrative Region, ito po yung Binguet, Apayao, and Abra. Samantala po dito sa, mga, sa Visayas, sa Region 6 po, Western Visayas, uh, Antique, Kapis, Iloilo, and Aklan. So, yung po mga nabanggit namin lugar, uh, pinapayuhan namin yung mga residente na nakatira po sa malapit sa Bulubundukin na maging uh, alerto dahil po sa landslide. And then, dito naman po yung mga nakatira malapit po sa ilog at yung mga low-lying area po sa mga nabanggit na lugar, eh, maging alerto rin po dahil po sa flash flooding. So, mula pa rin dito sa Pag-asa Platform Casting Center, Richard Orendain nagulat. 
At sa mga ka-forever nating magsasaka at mangingisda, nandito na ang Farm Weather Report na iyahati naman sa atin ni Ms. Anna C. Cloren. Isa na naman pong exclusive feature from DWS TV. Salamat Ms. Jel and magandang umaga sa iyo at sa mga viewers natin dito sa DOS TV. Narito ang ating lupang sakahan para sa araw na ito. Uh, meron tayong basa sa um, uh, wet soil moisture condition dito sa mga lugar ng Ilocos Norte, Pangasinan, Zambales, Aurora, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Cuyo, Romblon, Aklan, Cebu, Negros Occidental, Regions 9, 10, and 13. Meron naman tayong uh, moist o katamtaman ng pagkabasa dito sa Ilocos Sur, Quezon, Rizal, Mindoro, Bicol Region, Coron Island, Negros Oriental at Maguindanao. Samantalang tuyo naman po tayo sa natitirang bahagi ng bansa. Meron din po tayong uh, datos sa lipwetness. Ito po yung pagkabasa ng dahon na maaari magamit na ating mga lokal na agriculturist at magsasaka. Sa mga lugar na may maulap na kalangitan, ang leaf wetness po natin ay abot sa 4 hanggang 8 oras. Um, ito po ay may kasamang halumigmig o relative humidity na abot sa 75 hanggang 100%. Sa mga lugar naman po na may uh, maulap na kalangitan, ang ating uh, leaf wetness ay aabot lamang sa 4 hanggang 4 na oras. Um, ang relative humidity naman ito o ang halumigmig nga ay aabot sa 65 hanggang 95%. Ang temperatura naman natin ay sa mababang lugar o kapatagan ay merong aabot sa 24 hanggang 34 degrees Celsius. Sa bulubundukin ng lugar naman, ito ay aabot sa 16 hanggang 25 degrees Celsius. Paalala sa ating mga magsasaka na palagi pa rin po nating dalawin at suriin ang ating mga pananim at talagang hayop kung may mga sakit upang malunasan po natin ito agad o kaya tayo ay sumangguni sa ating mga lokal na agriculturist o veterinaryo. Mm, sa mga lugar naman na may mga pag-ulan, maaari po, po nating ipunin ang mga tubig upang magamit kung sa haling kinakailangan. At patuloy po tayo maglinis ng mga kanal sa, patubig, sa mga patubigan upang makadaloy ng maayos ang tubig ulan. Para naman po sa ating mga maingisda, uh, ang mga baybayin sa buong kapuloan ay magiging maalon. Kaya paalala po na ang mga gumagamit ng mga maliliit na bangka ay palaging magdala ng mga gamit pang kagipitan tuwing papalaot. At para po sa inyong dagdag na informasyon, ang farm weather din po ay nag-iissue ng 10-day regional agri-weather information. Maaari niyo po itong mabisita sa aming website uh, www.pagasa.dost.gov.ph o kaya po ay tumawag po tayo sa 920-4076. Um, yan po muna ang update mula dito sa Farm Weather Services Section ng Climatology and Agrometeorology Division ng Pag-asa. Ito po si Anna Cloren, nag-uulat para sa DOS TV. Samantala, alamin ang latest ng mga proyekto ng DOST para sa mamayang Pilipino. Alamin dito sa DOS TV Flash Report. The Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA, forged a partnership with the Food and Nutrition Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. The collaboration provided food safety capability building activities to the Technical and Vocational Training Corporation, or TVTC teachers and trainers of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This activity served as an opportunity to highlight FNRI completed researches on food safety. Likewise, it underscored the Philippines' best practices on food safety in agriculture, food processing, and food service. The strategic partnership is designed to help TVTC enhance its capability in delivering quality and relevant training aligned to the needs of Saudi nationals and country's economy. Among the topics discussed were safety in the laboratory, global and local concerns of food safety, and food safety on genetically modified organisms, food safety management system, food safety risk assessment, and food defense were also included in the training. 
the field exposure and actual observation on food safety in the different areas of the food chain were also part of the activities. To assess the participants' response on the capability building activity, a floor plan on food processing plant following the requirements of current good manufacturing practices were required from them. They were also asked to formulate and discuss a food safety policy and a food defense plan for a processing plant. The panelists from TESDA rated participants' response on the capability building activities as very satisfactory. The teacher trainer participants from TVTC Kingdom of Saudi Arabia rated this very satisfactory as well. Five in every 10 or 52.3% of infants aged 0 to 5 months were exclusively breastfed, according to the 2013 National Nutrition Survey or NNS. This was an increase from 46.7% in 2011 survey. The NNS is done by the Food and Nutrition Research Institute or FNRI every five years. The infant and young child feeding or IYCF component of the 2013 NNS also revealed that 77.1% of infants were breastfed within an hour after delivery. The duration of exclusive breastfeeding was also longer, with an average of 4.1 months in 2013, compared to 3.7 months in 2011 and 2.3 months in 2008. Practice of exclusive breastfeeding was inversely related with wealth, the highest percentage reported from the poorest group in the rural areas was 69.8%, while the lowest percentage was from the richest segment in the rural areas of 28.7%. On average, breastfeeding was continued up to 8.2 months in 2013 compared to 7.7 .7 months in 2011. The results also showed that most children, or 65.8%, were introduced to solid, semi-solid, and soft foods at 6 months. However, only 4.6% of infants 6 to 11 months met the Minimum Dietary Diversity Score, or DDS, which is 4. The DDS is the number of food groups consumed. For children 12 to 7 months old and 18 to 23 months old, only 16.9% and 25.2% met the minimum DDS respectively. Mahalaga ang edukasyon, pero sadly, hindi lahat ay may access dito sa kakulangan sa pera. Pero marami mga offices at agencies ang nag-offer ng scholarships to deserving students at isa na rito ay ang Science Education Institute ng DOST. Panoorin po natin sa susunod na video.
wala na mga sakuna ang bansa natin. Bagyo, lindol o malakas na pag-ulan, always present itong mga to sa buhay natin mga Pilipino. Pero dahil tayo ay mga Pilipino, we are survivors. Hindi tayo natitinag dahil tayo ay nagtutulungan at nagdadamayan kahit anumang mangyari. At pati ang gobyerno natin, lalo na ang DOST, ay tumutulong din sa atin. At sa katunayan, naglunsad sila ng Project NOAA na sagot ng gobyerno sa call ng government for a more accurate, integrated and responsive disaster prevention and mitigation system, especially in high-risk areas throughout the Philippines. Panoorin natin to mga ka-forever. The world is changing fast, ailing, burdened, consumed by man's unquenchable thirst for profit. Lately, nature is beginning to assert its true power. The Philippines woke up to this an apocalyptic landscape. The devastation never seen before emphasized the need to accelerate initiatives for disaster preparedness. Tutuldukan na natin ang nakasanayang pagtitiis tuwing tagulan. Hindi na pwede ang bahala na. To address the need for the development of a reliable early warning system, the Department of Science and Technology launch the Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards Project NOAA Project NOAA came about after getting uh, uh, direct instructions after the ERC got direct instructions from the President to come up with a uh, with a comprehensive long-term program that would address gaps in disaster risk reduction and management. Inaugurated in July 6, 2012, Project NOAA sought to provide a six-hour lead time warning to vulnerable communities against impending floods using advanced technology to enhance current geohazard maps. A program that aims to improve and develop disaster science research using our local scientists and push for the use of advanced technologies and recommend innovative information services in the efforts of the government to prevent and mitigate disaster effects. An accurate, integrated, Responsive early warning system to minimize damage and loss of life. Ang project na wapo ang magsisilbing arko ng mga Pilipinong laban sa dilubyo. Sa tama at sapat na kalaman, sasanayan natin ang mga Pilipino sa puspusang kahandaan. Ito po ang magsasagwan sa atin tungo sa kaligtasan. Nasa kamay natin kung sisikat ang magandang araw ng kinabukasan. We have to educate people to have a culture of safety. Disaster preparedness is everybody's business. Project NOAA represents the Bayanihan spirit of the Filipino. Facing environmental challenges with a strong collaboration of over 40 partner agencies and organizations both here and abroad. Project NOAA is an umbrella of interconnected, multidisciplinary component programs that focus on prevention and mitigation, preparedness, and capacity building through information dissemination and the education of communities. These component programs are the Nationwide Disaster Risk and Exposure Assessment for Mitigation Program DREAM DREAM uses state-of-the-art space technology applications to produce reliable, detailed, up-to-date hazard maps in 3D. 
It has generated high-resolution flood models for all 18 of the country's major river basins and is swiftly on the way to covering our 257 minor river basins, making it possible to simulate the effects of different types of rainfall and provide an early warning. DREAM was able to accomplish all these at a fraction of the cost and only one-tenth of the time. The data gathered is also useful for other applications other than disaster management. That is why DREAM has earned global recognition in 2014. The initiation of a system to identify, quantify, and map the storm surge threat to Philippine coasts. CHESM aims to create storm surge inundation maps to analyze risks and predict threats to coastal areas. Now, all 67 coastal areas in the country, including NCR, have been mapped out with storm surge models available on the internet at least 24 hours before the landfall of a tropical cyclone. The development of a hybrid weather monitoring system and production of weather and rain automated stations. A widely deployed network of locally developed weather instruments. Doppler radars produced under the latter's program. Solar-powered automated weather stations. And automated rain gauges. All beaming in real-time weather and flood data to Pagasa's central servers. The emergency distribution of hydrometeorological devices in hard-hit areas in the Philippines. The Hydromet program bolstered our weather monitoring system with the installation of hundreds of hydrometeorological devices along the 18 major river basins of the country, providing a better picture of water levels crucial in anticipating floods. Enhancing Philippine landslide hazard maps with LIDAR and high-resolution imageries. The utilization of LIDAR technology and computer-assisted analysis of slopes and structures to identify the exact areas prone to landslides. 81 provinces, including NCR, have been mapped with data sets and uploaded to the NOAA website. The development and deployment of an early warning system for deep-seated, catastrophic landslides nationwide. A low-cost, locally developed, sensor-based system that is now on its second phase with better designed, more accurate instruments deployed in 50 sites across the country. Forecasting landslides by monitoring soil moisture and movement. The establishment of a flood information network, a flood center that consolidates data from 848 automated rain gauges, 479 water level monitoring stations and 86 weather stations, 13 Doppler stations, satellite imagery and Pagasa's maple radar to forecast a chance and amount of rainfall that may affect the 165 major cities and municipalities in the country. The data gathering is automated and runs 24 hours a day, constantly displaying predicted rainfall every hour for the next four hours. Disaster management using Web GIS. A disaster management system that involves a common web portal where people from the different sectors of the public and government 
can easily access information and even input data to use in disaster prevention and management. Another award-winning innovation recognized all over the world. Improved weather forecasting through Project NOAA's Weather Information Integration for System Enhancement. The program employs a state-of-the-art supercomputer and enhanced analytics to process information and deliver better, wider coverage for forecasting the weather. Increasing the accuracy level of forecasts to as high as 80%. Expanding the spatial coverage for the detection of typhoons to even outside the Philippine area of responsibility and advancing the ability to predict the weather seven days in advance. Strategic Communication Intervention for the NOAA Program The program encourages the use of Project NOAA across the different sectors of society helping Filipinos understand and integrate relevant, up-to-date information into their daily lives. Science for Safer Communities A nationwide information, education, and communication roadshow that includes disaster preparedness using Project NOAA created to empower local government units and vulnerable communities as they prepare for extreme natural hazards. Project NOAA, empowering communities in times of calamities. Led by some of the country's best scientists, the project is highly driven to achieve a grand vision Build disaster resilient communities through new platforms powered by cutting edge science and technology. The tools provided under NOAA have greatly changed the way disasters or calamities and their associated hazards are viewed and managed at the local level. The NOAA website has become a powerful tool in monitoring weather patterns and serves as basis for early warning systems developed even at the barangay level. After its launch, we had our first uh, experience with a great flood in the Philippines, which was related to the southwest monsoon rains. We call it the Habaga 2012 event. And during that time, the Marikino River swelled uh, several meters, probably seven to eight meters. Uh, not as high as Ondoy, but uh, equally dangerous because the floods were up to the second floor. Uh, but despite that warning, uh, or despite that, that uh, uh, great flood, no people died. There were zero casualties. With this success, Project NOAA has begun its journey. And we are in continuous search for the best science and the best technologies that uh, we can apply to mitigate the adverse impacts of natural hazards. Strengthening capabilities. Saving lives. Because of the data set, because of the know-how that developed happened, maraming mga additional or possible new R&D projects or development projects for disaster preparedness, even the young disaster preparedness, including our productivity, agriculture, parami gamit ang mga informasyon. Groundbreaking efforts and tools powered by countless men and women working together. Tanda na po natin palagi na nasa isang bangka lang tayong mga Pilipino. Ipagpatuloy lang po natin ang pagkakapit-bisig at pagkakaisa. At pihado po ako maabot natin ang ating minimiting destinasyon. Isang Pilipinas na mas ligtas, mas maaliwalas at may mas malawak na pagkakataon sa kaunaran para ho sa lahat. The Ark has set sail. 
and each one of us is at the helm. Adapt to nature's enormous challenges. Overcome disaster by being more equipped and better prepared than ever before. This is Project NOAA. Mga ka-forever, eto na ang favorite at inaabangan ng lahat. Ano na naman ang mga emote moments ng mga hugutera at hugutero friends natin? Alamin niyan dito lang sa What's the Weather With You. Sabi ni Che, ipo-ipo ka ba? Lagi mo na lang kasi akong pinapaikot. Ayan. Che, alam mo, ang ipo-ipo, ano nga naman yan eh, panandalian lang yan, huwag ka maglala, natatapos at nawawala din agad. Pero sana dumating na din sa point na mawala na yung ipo-ipo sa buhay mo at syempre maging kapalit naman yan na isang matiwasay at kalmadong panahon. And then we have from Angel Red Lim or LM. Sabi niya, kidlat ka ba? Hindi ko kasi alam kung kailan ka tatama sa akin. Wow, o di ba? Dapat siguro try mong sumali sa ano, sa storm chasers ng pag-asa kasi like na naghihintay na tamaan ng kidlat eh. Pero kidding aside, ganyan talaga ang love. Nakaka-excite, electrifying ika nga. Pero mas maganda kung i-enjoy mo lang 'yan. And don't forget to spread love and happiness sa lahat. O di ba, maka forever, love is all around. Kaya naman kaya dyan, time na rin para humugot naman at mag-level up na. I-post ang mga sinisigaw ng puso ninyo. Kaya sa mga hindi pa humuhugot, i-open na ang mga laptop at computer o di naman kaya ay tablet or smartphone. At mag-tweet at mag-status na. Idamay nyo na rin ang Instagram at Snapchat ninyo. Sa hashtag Hugot Panahon para next time, tweets nyo naman at FB status nyo ang babasahin namin. Mga ka forever dahil mahal na mahal namin kayo, nag-level up na ang ating What's the Weather With You Hugot Panahon. Ito na ang chance ninyo na ma-feature dito sa DOS TV at kabugin ang mga lindol, bagyo, kulog at kidlat. May nais ba kayong iparating sa DOS TV? May gusto ba kayong i-express na hindi nyo masabi? Gusto nyo bang sumayaw sa saya? Kumanta ng kumanta or mag-poetry reading emote level. Pwede nyo gawin yan. Gamitin lang ang DOS TV sa inyong performance piece at ipadala sa amin through FB at Facebook Live sa www.facebook.com slash DOSTVPH, Twitter at DOSTVPH, Instagram at DOSTVPH or kahit sa Snapchat. At gamitin ang hashtag Hugot Panahon or hashtag What's the Weather With You at hashtag DOSTV. Basta online medium, pasok na pasok yan. Tag lang ng tag, kaya mga ka-forever, mag-level up na rin ang inyong mga hugot lines. Ito na ang chance ninyo para kabugin ang lahat at sumikat dahil ang DOSTV ay para sa inyo mga ka-forever. Hindi lang kami nagdadala ng mga updated weather information, kundi saya na damang-dama para sa lahat para sa bayan, para sa ekonomiya. Kaya, let's begin our forever today. Dahil, weather lang ang laging nandyan, tag-araw man o tag-ulan, hindi nang iiwan kahit sino ka man. Kami ang DOSTV, na laging nandyan, may bagyo man, kulog o kidlat, hindi namin kayo iiwan. Dahil laging tandaan, weather is forever.
Ang mga sikat at top car brands na Chrysler at Mercedes-Benz has approved the use of Philippine Abaca for the exterior lining of its Class A cars. At sumusunod sa yapak ng mga top-of-the-line car brands na ito ay ang iconic Philippine vehicle na tricycle. Opo, pwede nang gamitin ang Abaca Fiber para sa body parts ng tricycle. At ito ay dahil sa Trike ni Juan, isang proyekto ng Department of Science and Technology, Industrial Technology Development Institute or DOST ITDI in collaboration with the Korea Institute of Material Science. And to tell us more about this exciting project, we have a special guest for today. She has a doctoral degree in engineering major in polymer science and engineering in Gyeongsang National University in Jinju, South Korea. She also has a master's degree in polymer and composite engineering in Catholic University, Leuven, Belgium. Currently, she is a Supervising Science Research Specialist and the Section Head of Advanced Materials Section of Industrial Technology Development Institute. Mga ka forever, please welcome Dr. Marisa L. Paglikawan. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Jel. <laughs> yes, and welcome to DRCV. Yeah, thank you for mm -hmm. uh, inviting me here. Mm -hmm. Ayan, pag-usapan natin ito, medyo nakaka-excite talaga pag-usapan, di ba? Trike ni Juan. Ano ibig sabihin nito, ma'am? Anong project ito? Actually, we call it Trike ni Juan, which is mm -hmm. common yung tricycle sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. di ba? So, ito yung common na nakikita natin na ay sa lugar meron tricycle. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we, we, we have uh, uh, studied about the abaca fiber composites. So, one of our objectives is to apply it in, uh, in automotive. So, naisip namin is tricycle yung pinakauna natin gamitan kasi ito yung common mm -hmm. na anywhere, everywhere makikita mo sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Pero sino yung initiators ng project nito? Actually, yung initiator ng project nito is uh, as from our results of the study mm -hmm. na kum, uh, in collaboration with the uh, ITDI and the uh, Korea Institute of Material Science, uh, we we find out that it's really possible for automotive or any application on transportation. Uh, Ito grupo ng aming uh, advanced uh, advanced materials, including our division chief. And I also would like to give also emphasis to our former director, kasi siya yung nagbigay ng mga ideas. Mm -hmm. And of course, our collaborators from Korea Institute of Material Science. That's why nag-start yung ating trike ni Juan. Ayun. Pero ma'am, di ba nakita na natin talagang parang iba nga, eh, no? mm. yung forma pa lang, uh -huh. talagang high class matuturing, di ba? Pero mas maliwanag pa natin, maliwanagan pa natin, describe nyo ano talaga itong proyekto na ito. Uh, yung, kaya nakita nyo, uh, it's a different shape, mm -hmm. kasi it's a abaca composites. Okay. So, fiber siya. Yung mm -hmm. nakikita natin sa tricycle before, it's made of metals. Ayan, uh -oh. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng gawing uh, shape na like oblong or something should always be square. Kaya nakita natin dito, uh, generally, yung iba is abaca, uh, fiber composites, yung synthetic. Mm -hmm. In this case, we added uh, abaca fiber. Yun ang ginamit natin, yung tupong abaca fiber, Ito po yung ginagamit natin, sa, uh, parang sa common term, is sinamay. Mm -mm. Yan yung ginagamit natin sa mga decalative, paper, for ano. And we have to find out other ano, application ng abaka. So, kaya namin naisipan yung abaka fiber composites. So, napakaganda po noong uh, design kasi hindi natin siya pwedeng gawing square. It Bakit should ma? be always oblong. Uh, because you cannot really uh, bend the oh, fiber. Tama. So, yung ma ngayon po yung mga, kung napapasin nyo yung ating mga a koche hindi katulad ng 1960s na square pero this time talagang maayos siya mm -mm. paganda mm -mm. kasi nga kanina nakita din natin no talagang iba yung shape niya mm -hmm. oh, pero yung yung abaca fiber na nasa bubong nandoon lang sa part na para nasa driver seat lang siya or the whole uh, tricycle uh, in our ano is uh, the whole tricycle mm -hmm. so yung nakita niyo kanina uh, na uh, pinakita nila, it's really lahat, pati yung sidecar, mm -hmm. pati yung roof ng driver seat. So, yun po yung, uh, lahat po yan abaka, nasa loob yan. Ayun. Mm -hmm. Tsaka, bilog talaga, no? Bilog Ilan ang kasya dyan, ma'am? <laughs> o oh, naman, kasi, uh, meron kami pinagayaan talaga, uh -huh. pinagkuna ng design ng model. Uh -huh. uh, binago lang, syempre, yung shape. Kasi we cannot really make it into a square or something in the previous na, no? Mm -mm. Pero ano yung content talaga? Yung uh, classification or properties ng abaka na nakita ninyo na maganda para dito sa project na to? Una-una, uh, abaka is uh, abundant here in the Philippines. So, to everybody, it's a number, we are number one producers or in the world mm -hmm. ng abaka. 
And second is, this is the strongest uh, fiber, natural fiber, among other fibers. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, nabigyan nyo na nga na sa ano na, ginagamit ito sa Mercedes-Benz. Yes. So that's why. Mm -mm. O talagang, talaga ang Mercedes naman, sa mga linings. Sa mga linings. Saan nilagay? Sa This, I think they use it for under uh, cover, body uh -oh. ng, uh -oh. ng wheels. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung ginagamit natin. And here in the Philippines, we have to, we have to find out something uh, other than that uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, Mercedes Benz. Although, alam natin na abaka talagang na dito na sa ang Pilipinas, talagang rich in abaka. Pero yung sustainability, ma'am, kamusta? Uh, ayon to sa Philfida, mm -hmm. which is the, our uh, agency of uh, ng Department of Agriculture, uh -huh. Uh, ayon sa kanila, it's really uh, sustainable naman because renewable to. This okay. is a renewable ah, okay. uh, material. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng pagkakat, pwede mo i-plant ulit. So, it means uh, that uh, yung sustainability na is uh, okay. Hmm. Pero ano yung main benefits talaga using this abaka para sa mga tricycle? Okay. Dahil natural fiber siya, ibig sabihin low density. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin low density, uh, we are saving energy. And of course, we uh, increase also the fuel. Yung, yung may improve natin yung fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yung uh, reason why we uh, natural fiber is also uh, popular nowadays. Mm -hmm. Pero sa loob, ma'am, ano ba yan? Ma mainit yung pakiramdam? O lalo na kung talagang tirik ang araw? O uh, paano ang pakiramdam kapag nasa loob ka? Tingin ko naman, ano, it's uh -huh. because the natural fiber, aside from uh, light density siya, mm -hmm. no, uh, meron siyang thermal uh, properties na nakakapag-insulate. Okay. Mm -mm. So ngayon, gaano na karami yung naka-deploy natin? Uh, we deployed already about 15 uh, okay. tricycle mm -hmm. drive, uh, drivers group. Um, yeah, 15, around 15. Uh, including the ITDI, it's about 16. Ano yung other, ano, iba pa mga applications ng Abaca Rainforest uh, Composite? Composite. Uh, we can also uh, use it for sports, mm -hmm. like... Uh, sa uh, snowboard or like that one or the shopping board and we can also use it for other applications like say for example jeepney pwede mm -hmm. natin palitan yung roof ng jeepney so to make it lighter and uh, a lot of applications actually so even we can use it for boats speed boat pero ma'am ngayon sa isang area lang tayo naka, nakalabas ito mga tricycle nito bakit dun lang Yes po, doon nga lang muna namin <laughs> kasi this is a field uh, in performance testing. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung pinakamalapit sa DOS, sa Tagig, kinuha namin siya for monitoring. It's quite easy accessibility for the monitoring. Kaya yun doon muna namin dineploy yung 15 uh, tricycle drivers group. Pero later on, kung ba merong gusto magpagawa ng ganito, available ba siya? Ganun ba kadali ma-access to? Yeah, we have, ano, meron kaming memorandum of agreement okay. with a uh, fabricator. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, pwede nating pag-usapan yung gano'n. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ngayon talaga, partner kayo with uh, KIMS. Ayan, uh, yeah, KIMS, Kims Korea. And, and ITDI and KIMS, yeah. may partnership dito. Pero ano yung future plan or working with other composite materials? Uh, that's a good question. So actually, we are planning to uh, more, I mean, uh, develop mm -hmm. not only the tricycle, not only for the automotive, but also we're planning for the boat and... Uh, Of course, the design as well. Mm -hmm. Yun yung aming mga plan for this way. Uh, the project will end this year, but we are still working on mas malaking project na yung gusto namin kasi we want to see that one in a different applications, mm -hmm. not only the tricycle. Pero sa tingin nyo, ma'am, ano yung impact nito sa socioeconomic? Okay, uh, generally kasi <clears throat> magkakaroon tayo ng maraming ano, uh, uh, so it will generate uh, employment. So we will also find out, I mean, nakita na natin na may other application ng abaka, so which means uh, malaking uh, contribution sa farmers natin to. And aside from being ano to, environmentally friendly. Ayun. So may nakita na natin marami, pwede natin apply siya sa other application. Natin. Kasi usually, yung mga abaka, nakikita na natin sa mga fashion clothes, yeah. handicrafts, mm. hindi ba? So ngayon, mm. ibang, parang mm. ibang level naman na pwede palang gamitin sa mga ganitong technical mm. aspect ang mm. abaka. Yes, mm -mm. that's right. Mm. Mm. Pero late, late, From time to time ba kailangan? Ano pang kailangan yung gawin? Dinidevelop pa ba natin to? Mayroon pa tayong mga pag-aaral na ginagawa? Uh, yes, mayroon pa tayong continuing because mm -hmm. uh, dahil natural fiber siya. So, okay. uh, mayroon uh, hindi, I, I don't know how to explain in technical terms na dapat kasi magdikit silang dalawa noong uh -huh. resin completely. Uh -huh. So, yun yun. And then, 
we're looking for other applications, uh, not only application but also the technique para mas mura siya in later mm -hmm. on. Ano yung fabric technique na ginawa ninyo ma'am? Ah, uh, very simple lang yung fabric uh, fabrication technique fabrication. namin. It's we call it hand lay up mm -hmm. and then this time we will be going on more on the we call it vacuum uh, assisted resin transfer. So it means uh, it's quite easy and then uh, mas cheaper yon and then we can also derive a very good uh, quality. Mm -hmm. So, which means a high amount of fiber na yun. Mm -hmm. May mga nakikita na rin tayo sa, sa labas ng mga e-tricycle, mm -hmm. di ba? Ito, compared to the uh, mga nakikita na natin, ito, ano yung uniqueness talaga niya, ma'am? Aside from the abaca uh, fiber. Yeah, we're, we're looking for the yung ating, uh, magkaroon siya ng energy and efficiency. Mm -hmm. Yung ating uh, one, ano, one, uh, one uh, reasons why we use also abaca. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi yung iba, di ba, makita mo mabigat, so at this time is lighter and of course yung aesthetic yung yung beauty niya yes, yes uh -oh. so yun uh -oh. Yung talaga, no? appealing naman talaga appealing. siya. Nakikita natin yung uh, ganda. Ikaw, gwapong-gwapo yung tricycle mo. Di ba? Parang halimbawa, ikaw mag-commute ka, pipili mo na dun sumakay. Di ba? Energy, um, sabihin, environmental friendly pa. Mm -hmm. Ang ganda pa ng sasakyan mo tricycle, hindi na ordinary tricycle. Pero pagka ganito mga medyo cost, mga, ano ba to pricey ba ito? Uh, comparing with, with the, yung, yung luma, yung mm -hmm. conventional, because conventional okay. metal, I think hindi naman sila magkakalayo talaga ng presyo. Mm -hmm. At this point, we cannot give you uh, the exact really the amount because we are still on the stage of testing. Mm -hmm. Kailan siya na launch, ma'am? Uh, July 1, 2016. That was Friday. Ah, bagong-bago lang pala yeah, talaga. Really, uh, oh. So ngayon talaga nasa parang trial period pa rin siya may tuturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah po. Mm -hmm. Any challenges from this project? Of course, maraming challenges <laughs> kasi uh -huh. first is acceptance ng, 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 ng ano. Although it's very, very cute siya tingnan. Uh -huh. Pero siyempre yung acceptance ng tao, ng, ng ano, and uh, yun yung isa sa mga challenge namin. May mga design na we have to, re to change as well. Yun yung mm -hmm. mga challenges namin. And the benefits of science and technology with the use of this car, uh, car with this tricycle? Of course, uh, this is a very good opportunity, opportunity for the DOST mm -hmm. na... See, we are, this is number one. Actually, in the Philippines, tayo nga yung producer mm -hmm. na abaka. And this is also the first time na makapag-produce yes. tayo mm -hmm. na sarili natin. Atin na to 100% Pinoy. So, uh, Pinoy technology. Uh, although we have some uh, uh, assistance from the, from the Korea, but technically, we are the one who uh, initiated the, the project. I mean, the, the technology. Pero bakit naging partner din ng Korea? Uh, previously, we have our uh, collaboration, so yun yung parang series of tests yan eh, series of studies, and then uh, modifications of the fiber, yun yung problem natin with the fiber. And then later on, after the results, uh, yun, nag-initiate na kami ng, ng, ng produkto, ng Ayun. prototype. Mm -mm. And any future plan uh, using your, your this innovation talaga, abaka or any other composite materials pa? Yeah, you're right. Na because our the Philippines has a lot of waste material, mm -hmm. agriculture waste, mm -hmm. and then we can also use that one as a, a composites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we mga plan kami don. We did a lot of work already on that. Uh, we are just trying to find out some company, na siyang magbibigay sa amin ng ng I amin mean, ng tulong para mat may i ano nabi, magagawa kami ng prototype. Mm -hmm. So you know na wala DOST. We are only on the R&D. We don't have any type of I mean machine for the prototyping. So at this point, uh, kung may mga company dyan na, na I mean, gusto nilang mag-venture mm -hmm. to our fiber composites, we are here. <laughs> we, have a lot, a lot, we did a lot of works already on that. We have already find out some of the properties. So, pwede sila pumunta sa Totoo, ma'am. Kasi syempre, ang budget, mm -hmm. kamusta naman, di ba? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Medyo mahirap. Mahirap. Kasi syempre, po prototyping, you need a lot of equipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So basically, yun yung, yun yung sa atin ng medyo wala ng mm -hmm. prototype kasi medyo malahal na yung equipment. Yes, oh. since andito na siya, na-launch na, ano yung gagawin natin para naman ma-encourage natin or para maging aware din ng public about this? Okay, one way is, uh, tama, tama you're just inviting us to the OST TV and I think a lot of already people are watching this one even for not only students, pero siguro yung mga ibang companies, they already so it's an eye-opener for them na we have our own materials and we have our own technology. So, pwede nating pagtulungan. 
Ayun, talaga. Tulong-tulong tayo, 'di ba? Isa na 'tong para nakikita natin na umuunlad na talaga ang bansa natin, 'di ba? With use with the use of this uh, uh, technology, pagsamahin natin and then we have the natural materials from the Philippines, 'di ba? Napakaganda ng ano, produktong magagawa. Any more messages po na sa ating mga taga-subaybay, ma'am? Okay, uh, magandang umaga, hindi ako nakapagano kagad. So, thank you again and uh, panoorin niyo po yung ating DOS TV. Uh, marami po kayong matutunan dito at marami po kayong malalaman kung ano yung mga latest technology sa DOS TV. Mm -hmm. uh, maraming uh, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. And then we can invite them to support, of course, Strike Ni One. Okay. Uh, sana po lahat po ng, ano, ng mga... Uh, not only the Tatigig, I mean, dun sa Bikutan, uh, nakilikin po natin yung sarili nating uh, technology. Hindi mm -hmm. <laughs> na lang po lang necessarily po the trike ni Juan, but also all the technologies that was uh, developed by our own uh, scientists, uh, Filipino scientists, pwede po natin uh, takilikin yan para po sa ikaulad na ating banda. <laughs> yes, definitely. ba diba? talaga tayo magtulong-tulong, mm -hmm. magkaisa para sa ikaulad, magsisimula yan talaga sa ating sarili. Eh, diba? yes. mm -hmm. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am, thank luck. you. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much then, oh, or, no? And good luck. Mm -hmm. Supportahan natin itong Trike ni Juan at Wandy. Sana makasakay tayo dyan, ba diba? <laughs> At matest natin. Thank you. Ayan, nakasama po natin mga forever si Dr. Marisa A. Ay paglikawan. Ayan, and good luck. Sobra talaga ako nabibilib sa project na ito, hindi ba? At sana patunay lang ito na ang galing talaga ng Pinoy ay pang world class ang mga technology na ginagawa at naiisip. And there you have it. Isang linggo na naman po ang natapos. Sadya naman talagang kay bilis nga naman ang panahon. Pero ang forever hindi natatapos. Kaya samahan nyo kami uli next week. At maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta at panonood. Enjoy your weekend. Next week, babalik kami mga ka-forever from 11am to 12 noon, Mondays to Fridays. You can also visit our webpage www.dostv.ph or you can also visit our Instagram page, dostvph and our Facebook page, Facebook com slash dostvph Kaya click na at mag-login para lagi tayong magkasama. Dahil weather lang ang laging nandyan, tag-araw man o tag-ulan, hindi nang iiwan kahit sino ka man. Kami ang DOS TV na laging nandyan, may bagyo man, kulog o kidlat, hindi namin kayo iiwan. Dahil laging tandaan, weather is forever.